Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for December 9th through 15th 2019. We have the Gemini full moon on the 12th which is the last full moon of the year Pisces as well as the last full moon of the decade. So a very powerful manifestation will be unfolding for everybody um, between December 12th and January like the middle of January full moon to full moon. So just keep that in mind as you uh, go through you know the end of December through the first half of January. All right, Pisces, let's pull a card to see what your overall energy is for this week, what your focus is, what your vibes are, what's going on for you guys. And you have singing, express your creativity. All right, Pisces, this is a week to not hold back, to say what you've got to say 100%. Don't sugarcoat it. Um, don't beat around the bush. It's like speak your voice um, in 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 any sort of like group setting or team setting. Express your ideas. Express um, better processes. Just anything that's coming to you, share it um, when you're in a group setting because your ideas could actually be golden. Okay, don't hold back. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't be afraid that you're gonna your ideas will be rejected or. Um, that people will think you're stupid. No, Spirit's saying put yourself out there. Express your ideas if that fits. For others of you, this is about a conversation that you're having with somebody um, or what you're sharing. Um, if you kind of have like a, a platform, like maybe like YouTube or Twitter or um, Instagram where, you know, you have a voice of in, in the public um, and you have something to say and it feels like deep from your soul Pisces put it out there say what you got to say all right let's pull a couple of cards here to see overall energy and highlights well the highlights of this overall energy I should say I feel like I should shuffle for Pisces Right, Pisces, follow your passion. Yes. Do not hold back, Pisces. Heal the past. Ooh, Pisces. Um, this conversation may be with um, somebody you had a falling out with, friend, family member, old romance, old um, work person or current person you work with and you guys have been on the outs. For many of you, Pisces, this is about a relationship of some kind and this week is the week to heal it either within yourself where you make the decision of, you know what, I'm letting all of this go. I'm leaving it in 2019 and I'm doing me in 2020. I'm chasing after what makes me happy. I'm going to do everything I can do to make myself you know, better to find my highest happiness and all the energy and effort I've been putting into everyone and everything. I'm going to put that into me and see where that takes me. And it is so healing for you, Pisces. Others of you, this is truly where you are healing with somebody, especially the penguins. The penguins represent soulmate to me. So whoever you had this falling out with, this disconnection, you guys are meant to heal because you're soulmates. And part of that, you know, falling out disconnection was part of the um, soul lessons that you both are working on. And so when you come back together, there's deep understanding, there's deep healing, and you both have grown and matured quite a bit. So let's pull some tarot Pisces. And you know, Pisces, if this is not about a relationship, this is about something you are really working towards in your past that just didn't happen, that didn't pan out. It may have blown up in your face. You may have gotten overlooked. Uh, there may have been an injustice. Maybe you felt like the rug was pulled out from underneath you. And now this week, Pisces, what's coming to you, the way things are changing or what's manifesting is allowing you to let that, you know, injustice of the past go and embrace what's happening now today because it's fulfilling you. You're feeling quite happy and satisfied with the way things are manifesting now, Pisces. So let's pull some tarot. We have the Eight of the Four-Legged, which would be the Eight of Pentacles, Squirrel, Prepare for the Future. And, you know, Pisces, this is where you've learned and you've grown, okay, um, for those of you where this is around a relationship um, or a connection that's healing, like you both have learned and grown 
a lot, a lot. Um, also, Pisces, uh, this is where when you know exactly what you're talking about, speak your words, um, share your ideas, say what you've got to say this week, especially when you're coming from a position of knowledge, of wisdom, of knowing. Don't hold back at all. All right, and now we have Temperance, which is New Dreams and New Realm, the Swan. Next we have Death, ooh, Shed the Old and Resurrection. Look at that, Pisces, let bygones be bygones. King of the Winged Ones, which would be um, the King of Swords, the Great Blue Heroine, Assertive Authority and Counsel. And lastly, we have the Three of Shapeshifters, which would be the Three of Cups and Fertility, Success, Fulfillment. Yay, Pisces. This is a beautiful lineup of cards. Um, yeah, the past is the past. Whether this is some sort of injustice, unfairness, things didn't go your way, it really hurt you, or this is a relationship that had a falling out. This week, it's like, it's all about the change, letting the past go, healing, forgiveness, and spirits bringing you and somebody back together, or um, Pisces, what's manifesting, what's unfolding for you this week makes you understand why what happened in the past happened and why it happened the way it did, why everything unfolded, like you, it just makes sense and you're coming into a place of happiness and balance, inner peace and harmony and you are, you're really shedding the past this week. Pisces, you're forgiving and you know, with this resurrection and heal the past, to me, that's talking about that relationship, that connection where I don't feel like this is just healing within yourself. For some of you, obviously, this is a general reading. That could be the case. And you're just like, you know what? It is time to do me and make my dreams come true this year. Um, but for many of you, Pisces, I do feel if it's attached to a relationship, you and this person are healing your soulmates. Um, with the cards that have come out, could be a Sag, uh, could be a Scorpio, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Just, um, you know, with those cards, doesn't limit it to that, but very strong indication. All right, let's pull some clarifiers. We have Spirit Vision, the Eagle, and this is coming out under this Eight of Four Legged, which is talking about how much you've grown and evolved, Pisces, and also like um, what you're speaking, where you may be inclined to hold back this week, you are really coming from a place of wisdom. Um, and some of you, you know, you might just be getting some really strong intuitive promptings in dealing with others, and um, you know, if you're feeling it, just put it out there, be like, is this bothering you? Or are you going through this specific thing? And they might be like shocked and fall off their chair that you're picking up on so much stuff about them. Even those of you um, who connect like to the spirit realm, pass on loved ones, if you feel it coming through really strong with somebody and you're like inclined to hold back, spirit says, no, speak it, speak it. Pisces, this is a week to speak with everything from your soul, from your heart, from your soul, and not hold back whatsoever because you're coming from a place of wisdom, from knowledge, from experience. So it's like um, what you're saying is very captivating. It's allowing you to release the past and come into some new energy. All right, under this swan, we have the bear, the inner voice. So now you have spirit vision and inner voice. Yeah, you're on fire. You are picking up the vibes. Pisces, you have the perfect words, the perfect advice, the perfect idea. Um, this week or Pisces like that, the perfect words are also being said to you. Oh, I love your reading. Okay, next out is Rebirth, the snake coming out on the snake. I love that, Pisces. Look at that. Oh, Okay, under the king of winged ones, we have the bee, sexuality. Some of you, this is definitely a returning romance. Um, next out is the jaguar, reclaim your power. And that's under this um, three of shapeshifters, fulfillment, manifestation, celebration. Pisces, this is fantastic. Um yeah, definitely something manifesting this week, either, you know, in your life where in the past you felt like you were really screwed over, something was supposed to happen, you put a lot of energy and effort and it just didn't pan out, blew up in your face, broke your heart, etc. 
this week, it's like it's you, the universe is making up for it. And what's coming in allows you to just let the past go and feel good about the way everything up, unfolded up to this point. A lot of happiness, Pisces. Uh, and then some of some others of you, this is definitely about some sort of relationship um, coming back into your life. This person is a soulmate to you. You both have grown a lot. We've got the two snakes. You both have shed a skin, um, have evolved mentally and emotionally and spiritually. And that's why Spirit's bringing you guys back together because you have more um, of this life to experience with each other, to grow. But it, it's like you come back together much stronger. Um, it's a more honest more balanced connection than it was in the past and lastly Pisces um, at any point any situation any relationship it's like say what you've got to say don't hold back express your ideas express your thoughts especially those of you that are um, picking up on like messages from past on loved ones or intuitive uh, messages about people don't hold back share it it's just like you need to say what you got to say Pisces what a beautiful week for you guys okay let's pull some final advice we have dance. Allow yourself some fun each day just as the sun dances with the moon each night. Yes, it's a good week. It's a happy week. It's a time to let the past fall away into the past and embrace the present and see where it's taking you. There's deep healing coming in um, between you and another person or you and just a heavy past that didn't feel very fair and now you see it all makes sense and everything happens for a reason and you're happy or excited for where you're headed Pisces oh what a beautiful week for you guys so those are your messages I am wishing you all the best take care